Hey, good morning, SCA. Welcome to another week of online learning. It is exciting to hear the government starts to talk about opening up some restrictions for the province. With that being said, we know that we are still in this for the long haul. And we miss you. We hope you're doing well, staying connected with your community, uh, even as distant as what that might currently be. I have three updates here for you this morning. First of all, parent-teacher interviews are happening today, Wednesday and Thursday via phone. The phone number might show up as unknown or blocked number. So please make sure you have your phone on you for the times when you have booked an interview. We are excited to connect with you parents and hear how things are going. Primary purpose of these interviews is just to check in, see how your child's engaging with the new online learning platform. I know you have lots of questions just about assessment and final grades. We're still waiting on some final direction on how these final grades will be determined. So our teachers won't be able to provide a lot of specifics in this topic. But we are excited to converse with you, talk to you just about how teaching and learning is going for your son or daughter and seeing if there's more ways that we can help. If you haven't signed up yet, please contact the school office uh, to see if there's any uh, available slots yet to sign up for a parent-teacher interview. Again, give the school office a phone call and we'd be happy to help. On Wednesday, we will be celebrating Hats On for Mental Health Day. Particularly at this time, it is important how that we focus on our mental health and take care of each other and show support for each other. So I encourage everybody, staff, students, parents, on Wednesday, wear your favorite hat as a way to show support and to show that we are taking mental health very seriously. I know it's gonna be different as we're not in the same building together, but we will be connecting via Google Meet and it would be pretty neat to see everybody wearing a hat on that day. As we announced last week, our formal grad celebrations have been canceled. However, we will be allowed to do some type of a drive-through grad celebration in June. Uh, we're still putting the details together as to what exactly that's going to look like, date, times, specific information, that sort of thing. But we are looking forward to that opportunity to be able to honor our grad class of 2020. More details will be coming. That's all for me this week. Thanks again, SCA. We miss you. Over to you, Mr. Maxwell. Thanks, Mr. Elzinga. Happy Monday, SCA family. It's week five, and I'm thankful it's really nice out. So we got to keep going, though. So... Let's uh, let's keep going. We can do this. So for today, four quick announcements, and then as usual, an encouragement. One, so thanks again for watching these videos from 89 subscribers to 101 this week. So that's pretty cool. We're really trying to keep you and our SCA family up to date and this and our website and the odd email. Uh, that's our primary way. So hopefully you're feeling up to date and reasonably connected. If you think of something our entire school community needs to know, just email me at jordy.maxwell at eips.ca and we'll try and get it on the next video. Number two, speaking of video, have you seen the YouTube of our staff in the SCA Toilet Paper Hockey Challenge? It's really good. You have to check it out. Go on to our school website at secondary.ca. That's secondary.ca, And on the top right, you don't have to scroll down at all. On the top right, click Menu. Then click COVID-19 then click fun. I just want to say thanks to the Tuckwoods, Mr. and Mrs. for getting that done. It's really good. Number three. So our baby, our staff baby picture contest continues this week. And as you know, our first picture a couple weeks ago was Mr. Chambers. Our second picture last week was, you ready? Mrs. Porter. Lots of you got this one. And yes, she's a cutie. Got some emails on that. So for this week's picture, it will be posted on our website and on Instagram at, you ready for the time, 10.30 today. That's Monday, May 4th at 10.30. So remember the time changes every week and the first current SCA student to post the correct answer on Instagram or email me wins a prize. So good luck. And four, on a bit of a more serious note, I was talking to a mental health professional recently and I asked him how we thought our kids would do with all of this if it carries on for a while. And he said, they're going to be okay for the first month or two, but after that, we really need to watch for any change in patterns or mood. So if you notice anything, please reach out. Again, on our website, on the COVID-19 section, under the tab Need Help, there's really, there's a lot of good information there. There's numbers for support during school and out of school. 
and lots of other mental health resources. And they're just a click away. It's all there. So again, reach out if you need help. And finally, an encouragement. Last week, I read a prayer and there were people who reached out to me and said they really appreciated that. And so I thought I'd read another one. And I said this last week, I don't know about you, but prayers from others, especially from saints of old, have really been a rock for me many times. When life sometimes and all its comings and goings, sometimes I feel like I don't have the words adequate enough to communicate to our Lord what I really want to say, what I need to say. And sometimes I find poems or stories where they say it better than I could, but it's exactly what I'm feeling or exactly what I need to say. So maybe this will help you. Can I encourage you that wherever you are to pause this video for 30 seconds, because I know we got lots to do. Take a breath and really put yourself in a good posture to receive this. It's a prayer by Dietrich Bonhoeffer, and this is what he wrote. O oh Lord God, great is the misery that has come upon me. My cares would overwhelm me. I know not what to do. O oh God, be gracious unto me and help me. Grant me strength to bear what you send, and let not fear rule over me. As a loving father, take care of my loved ones. O oh, merciful God, forgive me all the sins I've committed against you and against my fellow men. I trust in your grace and commit my life wholly into your hands. So do with me as seems best to you and is best for me. Whether I live or die, I am with you, and you are with me, my God. Lord, I wait for your salvation. Again, Dietrich Bonhoeffer. So God bless you with that. Have a good week, everybody. Stay safe.